So the first step we do is x belongs to minus infinity plus infinity. This is the domain of definition. And the second thing is the limit as x goes to plus or minus infinity of the function. And since it's going to plus or minus infinity, therefore we choose the, the highest, highest power. exponent. And then we start replacing minus minus infinity cubed is equal to plus infinity. Minus of plus infinity cubed is equal minus. to minus infinity. Three. F prime, derivative of the function, equals yeah. to minus 3x squared plus, plus 3x, 6x. And that's it. Now you put f prime of x equals to 0, so minus 3x squared plus 6x equals to 0. We divide by minus 3 because we can, we have an equation equal to 0. So it's x squared, x squared you cannot divide by the variable. Can you take x? You cannot divide by the variable. You would factor the variable. So divide by minus 3, you're going to have minus 2x equals 0. Now you factorize to get the roots. x, x minus 2 equals to 0. So our first root is equal to 0. Our second root is equal to 2. You take x common factor, you don't divide with x. You don't eliminate x. Yeah, no, you Here you that. can divide with a number, but you cannot divide with a variable. No, we took x. No, we took okay. x so you, this is what I did. You so take it. It's fine. It's the same. In order to minimize calculation, this is why I divided by the number, and then I took the common factor. Yes. I prefer that you show it. When it's quadratic, it's better that you show it. To back up your, uh, or to check your calculations, you can do it on the calculator. Now, uh, when x is 0, f of 0 is equal to minus 1. So our first point is 0, zero minus, minus one. 1. When x is 2, you replace f of 2 is equal minus 8. Plus uh, 3 times 4 is 12, minus 1. So f of 2 is equal to minus 9 plus 12 is going to be 3. So b is 2, 3. Two, three. three. Yes, I got the exact same. 4 is the table where it's the summary of all the previous steps. Minus, minus infinity. infinity. And zero and two, two and plus infinity. So a prime of, of x, x is zero at these two, two, and then you check a. A is negative. Same sign of a outside the roots. Opposite and opposite the sign, sign in the middle. Interpreting this with respect to f of x, this is a down, down hill. Up. This is a up. This is a down. <laughs> Now, you're going, x is tending to minus infinity, so the function is tending to plus infinity. x is tending to plus infinity, the function is tending to minus infinity. This here is the value, it means it's a minimum. Minimum, minimum 0, minus 1. And this is a hill, so it's going to be a maximum. maximum. And b is 2, 3. Then we go to 5, which is the x and y intercept. The y intercept means x equals, equals zero. 0. So f of 0 equals minus, minus one. 1. So 0 minus 1 is our first intercept. x intercept means y equals 0. So minus x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 is 0. Multiply by minus to make calculation easy. 
x cubed so minus 3x squared plus 1. Equation. Use your, your calculator to find the roots, and the roots x are going to be x1 equals 2.8. x2 is 0 0.5. minus 0 0.5. and x3 is 0.6. Equals to 0 0.6. You don't have i next to any of these, right? Uh, I don't think so. So check it, check it for me. If you have i, you don't use it because it's going to be a complex number. This is y, this is y prime, x, x prime, and this is 0. So we go for 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So our first, uh, we go, we start with the minimum and maximum. It's 0 minus 1, this is 0 minus 1. And then you have 2, 3, 1, 2, and 3. These are the minimum and the maximum, you assign them like that. Then you have, yes, yes. Then you have 0 minus 1, which is here, and 2.8, this is 2, this is 0.8, you cross it. This is 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, and minus 0 0.5, and this is 0 0.6. Now we use another color to draw the graph, and this is our graph. It's a valley here, you draw a valley like that. It's a hill here, so you draw a hill like that, and then you start. It's plus infinity going to the minimum, passing through the x-intercept. Like yeah, and then you go up through the x-intercept to the hill and you go down also through the x-intercept and this will be your graph. You can take minus 1, f of minus 1 equals to minus plus 1, uh, plus 3 minus 1, so it's 3, 1, 2, 3, this is it, back one here. Nice. And if you want, you can take um, here uh, 1 to 3, you can take 3. So f of 3 equals to minus 8 plus 12 minus 1, you're going to get 3. 3, 3. three. So 3 is 1 to 3, there it is. Okay, so this is where your graph will come. How do you know where the x intercept is? This is the x and intercept. Yeah.